to chapter two of this particular Drama Mountain hike. I told you that we were taking a different path on Drama Mountain today. We're not going through Razor Ridge or any of that other things. Instead, we are marching through the uh, the Apologies and Corrections Swamp. And oh boy, oh boy, do we have uh, some swamp to go through. We were going through the sort of wetland meadows. There were some mosquitoes and whatnot, but now we are going into the depths of the swamp um, because it's about to get goofy. Okay, everybody? All right. So this morning at about 9.30 uh, PST, uh, somewhere around that time, I believe, actually, let me see if I can get the... Oh yeah, it was slightly earlier on their on the Discord. Uh, this morning, Illuminati uh, sent a message to her to it and, and at everyone. So everyone on her Discord got this message, um, and then Illuminati followed up by posting a identical message to Twitter. We are going to now read that message. Yeah, a ping a ping. She has a big Discord, actually. Yeah, her Discord is very large. Um, so let's read this response. And we're going to talk about this and analyze this a bit. Um, because, well, you'll understand in a minute. Let's do this. This is the official Illuminati account. Now, the first thing I want you to notice, this was posted at 9.32 this morning. It has 411,000 views, okay? Illuminati has 47, oh my God. Illuminati had this morning over 50,000 followers, but now has 47,000 followers. And this video or this response has 374 quote tweets and only 326 likes. That right there is what we call a ratio, okay? When you have as many quote tweets at more quote tweets than you have likes, that is a very ratio, okay? That is a painful, you done fucked up ratio, okay? So let's see if it's true that Illuminati done fucked up. Hey everyone, I am fully aware of the recent false allegations that have surfaced. I want to take a moment to publicly state that I am taking these allegations seriously and, and am committed to rectifying this situation promptly and appropriately. I understand the concerns and potential impact that these false allegations have caused. My team and I are actively working behind the scenes to gather all relevant facts. I am committed to transparency and accountability throughout this process. Rest assured, I am taking decisive action to address this situation. I will provide updates and communicate any necessary actions as soon as possible. Thank you to those who are standing by me during this challenging time. I will not allow these false allegations to be weaponized as a way to silence my voice. I appreciate your patience and understanding during this challenging time. I am dedicating to upholding my channel's values and delivering on our commitments. I am confident that the truth will prevail. Sincerely, Blair Zahn. Now, I just got to be 100% real with you. When I read this, my first instinct was to wonder if this was purchased off of LegalZoom. Because... <laughs> My God, is this a stock letter response if I have ever seen one in my entire life. Um, does not address anything, does not apologize, only doubles down, speaks only in the most vague terms imaginable, uh, sort of repeatedly uh, hammers down a narrative. And I want to go through this step by step what I'm talking about specifically with regard to hammering down a narrative. I am aware of the recent false allegations. I publicly state that I am taking these allegations seriously. I understand the concerns that these, these false allegations have caused. 
my team and I are working behind the scenes to gather all relevant facts. Rest assured, I am taking a, a decisive action to address this situation. I am not going to allow these false allegations to be weaponized as a way to silence my voice. So first of all, um, no one has silenced Illuminati's voice ever at all. Not even once in this entire situation has Illuminati's voice ever been silenced. Not even once. And in fact, if we go right now, we can go right now to Illuminati's initial response video. Um, exposed. That's what it's called. Let me just bring it up here real quick. Il the Illuminati exposed video, which is hey, right here. I'm just going to show you so you can see with your own eyes. 1,030,000 views. So... I wonder, out of curiosity, maybe we can compare this. The clicks video also has a million views, but let's see what Wonders video has. I want to see what Wonders video. It's, um, what's the video? Wonder response. God damn it. Wonderstruck guy, right? Is that the name of the account? Is Wonderstruck guy? Yeah. Now, in comparison, Wonders video has 300,000 views. Illuminati, 1.03 million views. Wonder, 300,000 views. And yet, in this statement, Illuminati is saying that she is not going to allow her, cha her, si her channel to be, her voice to be silenced. Well, the good news is, She's already decided to play the cancellation card. And the second thing I want to point out here, of course, is what I already sort of uh, illustrated, is that how many times she repeats false allegations. Um, this is the sort of thing that you would expect a politician to do, where when a politician is lying, they will repeat the lie in very specific words over and over and over again, so that the one thing that any onlooker takes away is the the core narrative message. Allegations are false. Allegations are false. Allegations are be, 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 repeated into ad nauseum. Now, I want to be clear that uh, Illuminati was the one who made the allegations. There were a very limited amount of allegations that were made initially by Click and Wonderstruck. Both of them made very limited allegations. We, we went through this step by step in my original Drama Mama video, which of course, just look up Drama Mama Illuminati and you'll find the original video if you want to be up to speed and I mean fully up to speed on this video on what we're talking about here. I we went in depth into this, into the allegations that were made by Wonderstruck and the Click initially. And their allegations were very controlled. Their allegations were functionally that she uh used her platform uh and uh to slander other people. The click provided incontrovertible, incontrovertible as far as I'm concerned, um, uh, evidence that this indeed was true. That Illuminati did indeed use her platform and others' platforms uh, to uh, wrongfully accuse uh, her former co-workers of various things to damage their reputation. That was basically all of the allegations that were brought forward before Illuminati's video. Illuminati's video went absolutely ham. Now, earlier on, I told you guys to remember a couple of things uh, from uh, the Leftist Mafia video about taking accountability, about apologizing where people were wrong, and about Darvo. Do you guys remember when I told you guys to remember that stuff? Um, because this does, this, this right here does not take any accountability. It does not offer any apologies it does not own up to anything and i believe very firmly that this is a perfect ex another perfect example of illuminati engaging in 
Darvo uh, in Darvo behavior. Now, um, for those who are unfamiliar with the acronym Darvo, it means deny abuse, uh, deny abuse, reverse, or sorry, deny attack, reverse victim and offender. Deny attack, reverse victim and offender. And it refers to a tactic by serial abusers um, that allows them to essentially get away with their abuse. Um, you, you start off by denying that you did nothing wrong. You then move to the attack. You immediately start slinging things at other people. You accuse them of actually being the abuser. Um, and that spins into reverse victim and offender, which means, no, actually, I didn't abuse anybody. You were actually the abuser all along. And if you follow this, um, that's actually almost exactly what happened. Um, Illuminati uh, got in hot water for the Legal Eagle situation. Two content creators came out in support of Legal Eagle saying this is not true and that she constantly tries to shit on other creators. They provided their evidence. They said, hey, we were shit on and mistreated by Illuminati. And Illuminati's response was to immediately deny that any of that was true and launch into unbelievably unconnected attacks. That's one of the key things about uh, about Darvo is that the attacks are usually designed to draw attention away from any initial allegations. And if you watch the original video as we did, the first thing that she does is immediately jump into accusing the clique falsely, mind you, provably falsely, of facilitating a pedophile den. And then, of course, she moves into a deranged series of allegations and attacks against Wonder. And let me remind you, of course, Illuminati, over a million views, well over a million views. Wonder's response, 318,000. Illuminati, 1.5 million followers. Wonder struck 100,000 followers. Okay. So this statement is pathetic. This there is there is no ifs, ands, or buts about Illuminati uh absolutely and undeniably lying about the click. And unfortunately, I have some theorizing to do okay and i need you guys to understand this is my theorizing based on a read of this statement in concordance with the rest of the situation okay when we watched wonderstruck's video now of course we should point out that in this entire situation from the very beginning wonderstruck has been the most vulnerable of all of the people involved wonderstruck has the smallest community Wonderstruck was taken advantage of when he was 19 to 20 years old uh, and was roped into a bunch of contracts that he signed bec because he was under an incredible amount of pressure and believed that he had an opportunity to uh, make something in the, in the YouTube world. This is a sort of typical uh, story, unfortunately, in the entertainment world. In fact, it's literally in... Not to, not to make light of it, but this is literally in Disney's Pinocchio. In Disney's Pinocchio, the, uh, the puppeteer guy, um, I forget his name off the top of my head, but there's a puppeteer guy who tempts uh, Pinocchio in to becoming a puppeteer performer with the promise of success and riches. Um, and uh, and, uh, and uh, I think his name's like, what's his name? I can't remember his name. The Great Stromboli. Yeah, the Great Stromboli. That's his name. Um and uh and 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 that's that 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 is a, a tale as old as time. You 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 find a young person who wants to make it in the world, who wants to stand on their own two feet, you promise them the world, you rope them into a bunch of contracts, and you exploit the shit out of them. Now, um when Wonder responded to Illuminati's video wonder had a lot of things to say now most of what wonder said was backed up with some receipts of one form or another however um they weren't perfect okay 
Wonders video, uh, and I mean this in as light as a way as I can as I can be. I want I need to be critical without being harsh because I do believe that Wonderstruck was taken advantage of, and I do believe that Wonder was uh, victimized strongly. Wonder's response overshared. Wonder in Wonder's video, Wonder went into a deep dive about um, their dogs about a situation where the dogs pooped all over the place. Um, uh, Wonder uh, talked about um, all, I mean, Blair opened the conversation on mental health, which was an incredibly horrible thing to do. Uh, I should be clear in, in, in this. Blair in her video, Illuminati in her video, uh, literally uh, divulged and leaked a DM uh, what was functionally a suicide note um, for an unsuccessful suicide attempt. Um, she leaked that for seemingly no reason except to try and frame Wonderstruck as an unstable individual. However, in Wonderstruck's video, um, out of a rational and understandable response, Wonderstruck further divulged a lot of personal information. What I'm trying to say is, is that Wonderstruck's video... Um, was a reasonable attempt to respond to Blair's unbelievable attacks, but also opened Wonder up for even further uh, damage. Um, and That's where I think this is going to go, unfortunately. Wonderstruck signed a number of contracts by his own admission. Um, he signed non-disclosure agreements. He signed non-disparagement agreements. Uh, he signed work contracts. He signed car contracts. He may have even signed housing contracts. We don't know the full extent of it. And unfortunately, given that this is an incredibly legally safe and very, very politician-esque statement. This is no, there are no, in this particular situation, no allegations, no specific allegations are made. There is just the rep repetition of a narrative, the, the assuring of the audience that truth will prevail and that her team is working on a response. This is a corporate response. And I believe this indicates that Illuminati is probably going to take legal action against uh, Wonderstruck. Um, I do not believe that uh, the click is at threat of being uh, of any sort of legal action, and the reason for this is, first of all, the click didn't make any it didn't make any major allegations whatsoever against Blair. The click was very careful in his video. He did not go into personal issues more than he had to. He kept it specifically to what Blair said about him and the allegations that he could prove. Hard evidence. And additionally, the click is in Sweden. And I do not believe that Illuminati is going to engage in a cross-ocean uh, legal battle. Uh, what I believe is going to happen is that from here on out, Illuminati will functionally ignore the click uh, video because the click video is very inconvenient for her and her narrative. If she even tries to address the click video, it will mean exposing her audience to further evidence that she lied. The click video, again, was as, like, it was about as, as rock-solid evidence as you can possibly get in a conflict like this. The Wonders video, not so much, unfortunately. Wonder is a, is still young. I believe Wonder is now, like, 21 or 22. Um, Wonder made a video that, uh ran very long and divulged a bunch of personal information and wasn't uh, amazingly tight about how it was presented while a lot of the receipts were absolutely valid and I do and I believe that wonder was able to establish a sympathetic narrative and a truthful narrative um, most of these are not sort of court actionable ones and it seems like there is a possibility that wonderstruck did in one way or another, 
violate some, could have, I don't know for sure, but could have violated some of the contracts that he signed while he was working with Blair of Illuminati. And unfortunately, in America, the contract is very, very powerful, okay? Very, very powerful. People saying allegedly those contracts are not legally binding, please, please, you have to understand, okay? And again, I mean this with love, but Wonderstruck is a really young and see, and seems like a very naive and good good hearted but naive guy. Um, just because your dad's friend who happens to be a lawyer says that he doesn't think that that contract is legally binding, that does not mean that it's not legally binding. And acting on like the advice of a, of a lawyer, of a friend of your dad's law, who's a lawyer, who isn't your lawyer is not advisable. But keep in mind that Wonder put all this stuff out on the internet in response to being attacked by Blair, which is understandable and well within his right, but may not have been the correct, the, may not have been the correct legal move. There is a very good possibility that at least something that he signed is going to be legally actionable. And it is also possible that he said something somewhere in the length of his hour and a half video that counts as some kind of disparagement, that counts as some kind of, uh, of, 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 you know, slander or something. If he fucked up even once with the amount of contracts he's signed, there's a very good possibility she could get him for this. And that's the saddest part about all of this is that Illuminati seems to be on the warpath. This response that we just looked at, looked at right here is not the response of somebody who is introspecting. This is not the response of somebody who has realized their situation. Now, there is something that I have to say additionally, which is that even though there's a, I believe that, that Illuminati is going to target Wonder, and I believe that Illuminati is possibly going to be able to further hurt Wonder. Um, I also have to point out that Illuminati is being incredibly fucking stupid right now. Um, Illuminati is literally burning her own channel to the ground out of ab out of obscene levels of controlling instinct and pride. Illuminati fucking lied. She lied twice in a row. She fucking lied about Legal Eagle, got fucking busted for it. She lied about Click, got busted for it. She lied about Wonder and didn't get busted as hard, but still got busted for it. And she's paid the price, but she's on the warpath now. She's angry and she's clearly not in the frame of mind where she, or, or maybe she's not even capable of being in the frame of mind where she acknowledges that she did something wrong. Now, according to literally every person who worked with her on that project, literally every one of them, all of her former members, sorry, I think there's one named Salty who we never heard from, but all of the other members besides Salty, uh, one topic, The Click, um, uh, Wonder and Oz Media, all of them stated that she goes on the warpath. All of them stated that she is incapable of admitting, admitting when she's wrong. All of them affirmed that she is basically willing to pull out all the stops to destroy people that she thinks have stopped, have, have, have uh, slighted her. And I think what we're going to see is that Illuminati is going to destroy herself to go after Wonder. I think this is an incredibly, incredibly stupid, uh, careless, selfish, destructive, and disgusting path of behavior. And I feel very, very bad for Wonder. But I have, uh, I, I believe that what we will see, and this is my prediction, is that we are most likely going to see some kind of a video from Illuminati um, that will be incredibly strategic in what it says. It will be designed probably to bait out further responses from Wonder, and then she is probably going to slap Wonder with a lawsuit. Now, this could be the end of her channel because as it turns out, you don't win every lawsuit that you engage in. Just because you're angry 
Just because you fucked somebody over before doesn't mean that you're going to be able to fuck them over forever. And also, this is all unfolding in the public eye. The intelligent thing for Illuminati thing to for Illuminati to do, the intelligent thing for her to engage in right now would be to drop this thing forever. Would to, would be to take her fucking licks and tuck her tail and continue. As of right now, Illuminati still has 1.52 million subscribers. However, let me just show you. Here we go. Let's take a look. Illuminati has in the last 30 days lost almost 200,000 subscribers. That is insane, okay? That now she still has a, a 150 million or 1.5 million to 150, 1.5 million subscribers. But I need you guys to truly understand like how massive that is. To lose in a single month almost 200,000 subscribers is fucking insane. Especially because those who are unsubscribing from her are active and engaged viewers. We have no idea to know how many of her, her subscribers are active subscribers. There's basically no way to know that. But losing 200,000 active subscribers can literally kill a channel. It has killed a channel in the past. It is damned channels. That level of subscriber loss is disastrous to a channel. This drama, this uh, insane abuse that she's meeting out on other people, the warpath that she's decided to go on is definitively decimating her channel. And yet, today, we get this response that she is going to go forward pushing a narrative asserting that false allegations have been brought against her, that she did nothing wrong, that everyone else but her is wrong, that she will be taking decisive action to address this situation. She will, pr the truth will prevail. This is a lawyered up response. She's lost about 8% of her total subs since this thing. It's devastating. I'm not, I'm, I can't overstate like, Losing that many subs in a single month is insane. That's, it's insane. That's insane. And again, I have to say the logical, the rational thing to do here would be to acknowledge that you fucked up. It would be to make a public statement that says, hey, guys, I went way too hard. I don't know what the fuck I was thinking. I apologize to my former co-host. This was really unprofessional behavior. I'll never do it again. Uh, let me make it up to you somehow. And then to move on with her life, making her content. This is the type of action that a petty tyrant makes. The community section of, wait, what, what are people saying about the community section of her channel? Can you even, yeah, could, well, we, maybe we should look at it. PETA. See, I mean, hasn't she been, uh, oh, she posted it here too. But she also, we also know we have evidence um, that she goes through. But let's take a look at the comments. Let's see the comments here real quick. Blair, just own up to your mistakes because for you to prove that the allegations are false, it's going to have to be extremely good evidence, which we all know you don't have. Instead of making excuses for yourself, just own up to the mistakes like a mature human being. I will not allow these false allegations to be weaponized as a way to silence my voice, says the person that has done this exact thing to other people. She would need a Phoenix Wright level plot twist for this to turn in her favor. Gotta love the fact that she's pushing these as false allegations. For someone who speaks against corporations a lot, this sounds very corporate. Here's somebody making a joke that's a reference to Wonders video. Blair, just because you use big words doesn't mean you sound smart. You literally said nothing in this statement. This is a big nothing burger. 
silenced voice, you have a massive platform. If you have additional evidence, share it. I went through the Google Drive provided with receipts. I listened to your response videos and the other response videos to you in full. You were called out, either self-reflect and take accountability for any wrongdoing on your behalf or rebut the claims. As for me, I find it unforgivable to share someone's unaliving themselves message. I find claims of creating an environment dangerous to children to be a serious accusation. There were a lot of mistakes, but the implication of this sanitized corporate post is that you are considering legal action that would actually silence others' voices, and I think that would be a mistake as well. Keep in mind, these are the top, I'm sorting by top comments, okay? All of the top comments on her community post are negative. They are against her. All of them. Have We haven't seen a single supportive one. Not a single supportive comment. Never once have I heard someone tr say the truth will prevail and then they actually want the truth to prevail. False allegations. Yeah, I'm not so sure, Chief. During these challenging times, she's acting like it's a natural random disaster and not a clusterfuck of her own creation. False allegations is all the red flags I need. Cut out your scapegoat from this picture, Blair. We don't want to target that. Listen, every story has two sides, but sometimes there just isn't a defense. Looking at Blair's controversy record, yeah, it ain't looking good. That record, accusing dude of botting because he got lots of subs, apparently not knowing you aren't special in terms of corporate casket shenanigans, bickering with the community, something else I can't even remember. Yeah, no guilty or something like that. Go and tank her subs on Social Blade for a week, guys. The fool who shows his foolishness is wise, at least so far, but a fool who thinks himself wise, well, he is called a fool indeed. My problem with this channel is exactly what you have said many times, Blair. I don't care if you're an asshole. Just be an honest one. Take your own advice. How many are we down? We've read 20 comments and there's not one. Not one positive comment. It's kind of baffling to see someone who talks about manipulative tactics so frequently use the same methods. Waiting for the corporate casket episode about her, referring to Blair. I'm being so serious when I say this sounds like a curated corporate response, which is very ironic. Don't worry, I investigated myself and I found I've done nothing wrong. Here's somebody else. I just got banned from your Discord server after I was explaining the controversy to the dozens there that had no idea what was happening. That's bullshit. I hoped at least some of the accusations were false, but baiting me after explaining something makes you seem really guilty. Cut that shit out. This is not just he said, she said. Multiple people have corroborated each other's stories and your response have been genuinely sickening. Have fun doing damage control. This is going to be a black mark on your reputation for the rest of your career. I am confident the truth will prevail. Then don't hide anything. It's so sad that in today's world, being truthful and honest is a revolutionary thing to do. If you're innocent, prove it. Stop hiding. Prove the people who made claims about you were wrong. Right now, you're no better than the people you generally talk about. Honestly, just own up to your actions. It would go a long way in winning back some favor with people that have given you countless hours of their time and energy. Imagine having a satirical name about pretending to be in a protected class who avoids responsibility or blame, and then somehow you feed into your own irony and become just that. You know what you did. Be honest. Live by the sword, die by the sword. Sometimes when you are involved, it's harder to see the situation from a balanced perspective. It may be time to step back and take your emotions out of the situation and look at the simple facts. Now, admittedly, this is much easier said than done, but remember, your brain can play tricks on you and perceive situations different from how they actually happened. Everyone is human and therefore can make mistakes. I advise taking a sabbatical and doing what you need to do to remedy this and redeem yourself, whatever it is, whatever happened, whatever the facts are. False, says the person who showed thousands of people someone's mental health situation. Take a drink every time she says false allegations. So, I don't even know how far down we are now. Not a single one. Not a single supportive comment. Not one. And this is from people who are taking the time to engage with their community posts. 
It's real cool you're taking it so seriously, but I absolutely love that you don't even specify what the fal false allegations supposedly are in this post so that anyone who still supports you reading this doesn't know how terrible you are. But hey, they're false allegations anyway, right? So why not be specific and meticulous like you usually are for your monetized videos? Damn! That is an obliteration right there. Ob absolutely obliterated. I want to find, I want to see, I want to find us a, a single supportive one. Not going to lie, I read this whole post in Trump's voice. It fits his cadence perfectly. Ruin someone else's mental state. It's false allegations, guys. Blair, I'm a longtime fan of yours. I cannot take your side on this one. Here's one. This is going to be interesting. They're further down. Okay, let's go way down. Here we go. I just scrolled a ton down. Yes, double down. What could possibly go wrong? Let's go all the way down. Let's see. Here's the here's one. You got this, Blair. Hope everything works out for you in the end. incredible here we go i'm confused what do her personal interactions have to do with her content we all have personal lives and conversations we aren't proud of that doesn't mean you don't speak out against injustice let her be human and grow up i'm sure she's learned a lot and grown a lot from this situation anyway i love her content there you go there's the first genuinely supportive one that we have seen I really like your videos and they help me during lonely times in college, so I'm rooting for you. There you go. There's your two positive comments. I don't care what hopeful content creators say about this. I just want more of your regular vids. 90% of your viewers have no clue who those low follower count wannabe influencers are or say. Just get back to make your regular videos. By the way, this is the type of, of follower. This is the worst type of follower to have right here. This one right here. Just get back to your regular videos. Give me content. I don't care about you or anything. If I got this type of comment, I would be insulted. That type of support is like, it's, it's dehumanizing. Like that, you can hardly even frame that as support. I just want more of your regular videos. Give me content to eat. Give me slop for my, for my ear holes. You are not a person to me. What you do is not a person to me. I don't care about what you do, good or bad. Just give me content. Damn, disgusting. Damn, that's fucking gross. I don't get why there are simps. Even leftist mafia have only ever seen her avatar. Oh, she her face is out there. There are, there are pictures and videos of her. She she posts her pictures and all kinds of stuff. But yes, obviously there's some simps, but honestly, uh, you know. So now, I don't think these are like that type of simps. Like that type of person is not a simp. That is like a, I am so desperate for entertainment. My brain, I can't, I can't sit in silence for any moment. I need your videos now. I need your content now. Feed me content. These are quite a lot of words, but you said nothing. You've had over a month, Blair. Just stop already and take responsibility for once. You're always pushing the blame to someone else. It's time to look at yourself here. I don't know what's happening and I'm very confused, but it won't stop me from watching your videos because I enjoy them. As long as you're not being homophobic or committing an actual crime, I'll continue watching. Hey man, I'm just here for the content. I honestly don't care what kind of person Blair is. The social media era is a disease. You are, <laughs> no, no, I must control myself. Honestly, I'm not kidding you. Reading comments like that, reading comments like that makes me want to retire. Even though I know that you guys aren't like that, 
let me just take a second here and say the comments that I receive on my videos have been really, really great, especially recently. I have been receiving an unbelievable amount of really, really uh, in-depth, detailed, and loving comments. But co but if I was to receive con comments like, I'm just here for the content, I do not care who you are, that would make me vomit. Saying this as a former, uh, Cointel Bone says, saying this as a formerly longtime Illuminati fan, since I'm not sure if anyone else has said it before, Illuminati was harassing creators years before any of this happened. It's only become public knowledge now because it's involving other big YouTubers. But for years, she harassed other small creators who criticized her. Here's a, view, a video on it. Oh, I've seen this video. Um, I watched that video last night. I, I'm not going to react to it because it's out of the scope of what we're talking about here. I'm trying to keep this focused to this specific situation, but I do appreciate the link. Um, she has, this is not her first drama. This is not her first incident. This is not her first time mistreating another creator. Um, but I do think that this is the, this is the one we're going to be focusing on now and I want to keep it. Yeah. Bino the amoeba, what's worse, a super parasocial viewer or a completely unattached viewer than like the ones we just saw? I think an unattached one. And the reason, um, the reason why I say the unattached viewer is even worse than the, the parasocial one is because a parasocial viewer is like a living person. An unattached like drone viewer to me um, makes me feel sad about the state of the world. A parasocial viewer is just like, you know, they need to chill and cool down maybe a little bit and, and maybe disentangle their their passions from their opinions a little bit, but a drone, like a, an empty drone viewer is like a symptom of like a dying society. It's like people who's, who don't even care about other humans anymore. All they care about is that the, the video in front of them makes their brain activate. It's like, it's really fucking sad to me. Ripple, wow. Well, I'm glad you were able to catch live. Welcome. I've been in chat for a while, but I have but I've been watching on YouTube since 2020. I remember staying up till 4 a.m. to call into the 10k stream. Finally catching you live. It's been a we've come a long way since those days, but welcome, Bribble. <sighs> Doesn't that mean us imps are parasocial? Everyone is parasocial to a certain degree. We live in the age of parasociality. It's literally impossible. Um ma the mass media era has created innumerable parasocial relationships. Not all parasocial relationships are wholly toxic. They just have to be measured. You have to be a part of growing up in the era of the internet is learning how to control parasociality. Just like, you know, learning how to wash yourself, learning how to like live your life, learning how learning basic social skills in the mass media era, learning how to manage parasociality is a essential life skill. I mean that. It really, really is. Damn, these comments are brutal. I was just, while, while we were sitting here, I've been scrolling, uh, I've been scrolling through. What an absolute mess. What a genuine, absolute mess. I want to know, what has Illuminati posted in this time? PETA. So wait, Illuminati has posted videos since then. Illuminati has posted a MLM video, a Hard Rock Hotel, a, the downfall of Hard Rock Hotel, uh, an abuse expose about Chris Brown, a vegan cult video, a Panera Bread expose, the 700 Club video, huh, a 
mac and cheese at you? Where's mac and cheese? I want mac and cheese right now. Oh, people are saying that the Chris Brown video when comments Chris are deranged. Oh my God. The top comment, the number one comment on, on Blair's video. Imagine using this horrific story as a means to shield yourself from allegations. Everyone sees through you, Blair. God, I hope these were all pre-edited. Can you imagine the torture she's putting her editors through right now to pump out all these videos? Nothing like seeing a narcissist end up screwing themselves over because of their overinflated ego. Chris Brown isn't the only person who's worse than we think, apparently. Yucky face. There's still 264 Patreon subscribed to her. Please do not support this abusive narcissist. Chris Brown isn't the only abuser, Blair. Will she really get away with not pretending nothing happened like just like that? She is pretty much summing up the awful injustice behavior she had done to her fellow employees and coworkers. Let's see what this timestamp says. It is continually upsetting to see someone with so much potential and so much talent have such a string of controversies, scandals, and problematic behavior. Unfortunately, we've seen it way too many times in the past, and I don't think it's something that's gonna stop anytime soon in the future. I'm continually amazed at the lack of- pushback when it comes to Chris Brown, and I'm further amazed by the seeming lack of help that he's received throughout the years. Is this video recent? This video is from nine days ago. Yes. This video just came out a couple days ago. Clearly, there is a lot going on, and while I obviously do not know everything, I do know that there is a problem that isn't being addressed. Maybe it's to protect his career, maybe it's to protect the profits, but it's definitely not to protect the multiple people who have accused him of atrocious behavior or his mental health issues. It's just time to do better. But with all of that being said, that's where we're currently ending the story. Wow. Wow. That is shocking. Oh my God. I feel bad for the editors that are probably being forced under threat of losing their jobs by Blair to crank these videos out in a flimsy attempt to protect her image. Should name your next video Illuminati is way worse than you think. Pandora's box is open. There's no going back for you, Blair. Your behavior is unforgivable. She ain't exactly a Chris Brown, but abuse is still abuse. The fact that she would make a video about an abusive man while being an abusive boss herself is fucking rich. I guess it only, it's only wrong to mistreat people if you're a man slapping his girlfriend, but be a boss who treats their workers like absolute shit and it's fine. No big deal at all. I think I'd rather be hit than have my life ruined by a boss trying to destroy me, but I've only experienced one of those, so what do I know? God damn, I can't wait to hear a perpetual abuser tell me how bad a perpetual abuser is. Damn, bro, her new editors must be grinding putting all these videos, putting all these videos all the Burger King they can dream of. Oh God, holy shit, they're tearing her apart. Oh my God. Jesus Christ. Well, okay, everybody. All right. And that right there is all that there is right now in the Illuminati situation. There isn't any more at this moment. Um, 
uh, we are going to have to, I, I, unfortunately, I believe that there is likely to be yet another hike back to Drama Mountain in the near future. And I am committed that we are going to follow this story uh, because I think it's particularly bad. And also because, unfortunately, I believe that there is a good chance that Illuminati is going to target uh, Wonder brutally. I think that this is going to get really, really bad. And unfortunately, I think there's a chance that she's going to do a lot of damage to Wonder. Now, it seems that she might also destroy herself in the process, which might be a relief to everyone who isn't Wonder. But I genuinely feel very bad for Wonder, and I am extremely worried about his near future. Uh, Wonder seems like a really good guy. He seems like he was taken advantage of by Blair at a very young age, uh, that he was exploited, um, and that he was roped into basically... Um, literally just being exploited being exploited for money and possessions in a very roundabout way um but a way that is familiar to lots of people who've had to deal with small business tyrants uh we're going to have to keep our eyes on this situation um but uh uh we're gonna but we don't know where it's gonna go from here that's just my prediction okay uh, Hunga Master says, if it comes down to Illuminati suing Wonder, would it be worth trying to help him fundraise for legal funds? We'll have to see when that happens, right? Um, there's no way to help somebody fundraise if they don't want the funds. I don't know what Wonder's situation is like now, um, but I'm not opposed, I'm not, I'm not close to that idea. Um, but yeah. Cointel Bone says, I'd feel bad, but like Tommy Tellerico, some people genuinely just never back down and keep biting the hands that feeds them. That seems to be the case with Illuminati, but then again, this drama is still pretty new and it's the first time she's seeing anything resembling repercussions for her behavior. Um, you might be you you might be right that there's no repercussions, but I think the repercussions are already happening, and let's be real, Illuminati is no Tommy Tellerico. Tommy Tallarico was operating on a level of, of income, money, money, and clout that Illuminati can only dream of. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, well, that's the summary of our drama segment for today, my lovely, lovely Ams. Um, please, if you enjoyed this uh, addendum to our previous hike on Drama Mountain, please make sure that you subscribe and press the like button below. We, I would love to see you come back. I think you're going to love my content. I put a lot of love into my content. And also, please consider telling me your thoughts down in the comments below. I would really love to hear what you have to say. Or if you're a fan, a former fan, a current fan of Illuminati, I would love to hear your comments down below. Please let me know what you think. It means the world to me and it will help my channel grow. So thank you all very much. And keep on hearing the signal.